It seems to me these days, I'm hearing more and more frequently from both landlords and property managers that they're running into difficulties trying to convince tenants that they ought to buy tenants or renters insurance. I think I understand the dilemma. It happens that the renters insurance becomes a secondary objective, uh, primary objective being getting the lease signed and getting a qualified tenant into the property paying rent. Uh, I think the solution for the problem is going to be in the way that the property manager sells the value proposition to the tenant. And I think that means just put the hat on of an insurance salesman and sell it just like you're trying to sell an insurance policy. And I think there are four principal values that we can sell. The first one being, and I think commonly understood by most tenants, maybe, maybe not fully appreciated, but commonly understood, I think, is that their personal property is not protected in the event that there's a flood or a fire or some something that causes the property to be damaged significantly, wind damage. Um, and that's certainly the case. And they need to fully understand that their personal property is not covered in the landlord's general liability policy. The second one, and probably maybe the more important, or at least here in the state of Georgia, it is because of our statutes, which say that in the event that a property is made uninhabitable due to one of these site types of hazards, that the tenant is still responsible for paying rent. So we, they cannot look to the landlord's insurance policy to cover that, that, uh, that liability. And they may also be responsible for paying for their temporary lodging as well. If they have insurance, that should be offset. Those, off, those costs should be offset. A third reason uh, is um, personal liability. Uh, so if the tenant injures themselves uh, while on the property and is found to be due to their negligence, uh, then of course they're responsible for any medical uh, costs or any, any other losses that they suffer from, the, from those uh, injuries. Uh, and this is the kind of thing that tenants just think, well, it won't happen to me, it's always somebody else that those happen to. But uh, I, I mean, I'm, I have a, a case in, in, in point here in recent times where one of our, one of our tenants um, was injured because of a grease fire on the kitchen stove. They had walked away from a, 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 from a, a boiling grease sitting on the stove and came back in the kitchen and they had a, had a fire and they got injured trying to put it out. Well, of course, the landlord's insurance was not responsible for covering that, that loss and they did not have insurance, and so therefore the tenant had to pay for their own uh, medical expenses. And physical repairs to the property uh, where they were in dispute with the owner. In this particular case, our landlord was very gracious and did not charge the tenant for the repairs, but it didn't have to be that way. And then the fourth uh, point would be uh, injury to guests of the tenant and the injuries that were a cause of the tenant's negligence, well, those would not be covered by a landlord's, landlord's policy. So uh, maybe next time, uh, if you're um, faced with this dilemma, try this approach, see if that works for you. And until then, I wish you a happy landlording.